My name is AJ Hodgkins. Um, I'm a fitness influencer that's about to either go get choked out or go choke everybody the fuck out. Hamza Chamaya style. Huh. Found the youth. May our legacies live forever. Huh. All my niggas quiet, but we burning loud. Machiavelli to the max, never turn it down. Mac 11 in my This is our last check in. This is my opponent as well. <laughs> Where to come? Am I fucking your bitches? Is it official? My nigga did a dime, didn't learn it. As you guys can see, my neck is heavy. <laughs> yo, 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 what up, guys? Man, I'm back. Decided to hit the intro in the car, man. I'm feeling fucking fantastic. I'm competing in my first jiu jitsu tournament. So, again, man, it's always a good time when I compete. As you guys can see, I'm locking the fuck in, man. I'm locking the fuck in. So. Yo, guys, just getting back to the house. Um, we're about two hours out from my first match. Um, I'm putting some food in the microwave. Got one of my meal preps in the microwave right now. Fucking feel excellent. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the fridge. A lot of you guys asked me about what's in my refrigerator. Also, by the way, we'll probably do a banana. This is what my fridge is gonna look like. You have my kombucha. I have this uh, MCT oil. Uh, I usually put in my smoothies, meal preps, body armor. Um, I have water, fruit, fruit, meats. Um, more fruit. Pre-competition meal, we got potatoes, green beans, chicken, super simple, super light. Um, so I should be light on my feet, feel really good. <clears throat> yeah, I plan on going six and oh today, coming home getting drunk as a skunk and eating some Krispy Kreme. That is exactly what I plan to do. Six and oh, drunk as a skunk, Krispy Kreme, Hornitos, you know what I mean? And one, I'm on point today, guys. Fuck. No, guys, so we just pulled up to the jiu-jitsu convention, El Paso Coliseum. I'm super excited. I got my body armor. I got my game greens. I'm not being paid to say that. Fucking pretty good. I'm excited to compete. Um, and we'll see what the competition level is like today. I have no idea. No fucking idea. You know what I mean? So we'll go way in right now and kind of go from there. <laughs> Okay, so we just arrived at the event and all that's on my mind is that we have to get dubs today. I'm getting excited. My juices are flowing right now. Um, it's gonna be fucking dope. So it's almost time to go hit the blunt in the car. And at that point, I'm gonna turn into an absolute fucking beast. You know what I mean? Oh, and then also I came in slightly underway. I weighed in at 216. <laughs> We gotta get dubs today. This is the dub package. I should be doing an edible, but we've been smoking before jujitsu every day, so we're gonna do, <coughs> we're gonna smoke. Not great for lung health, but fuck it, you know what I mean? Stained glass windows in the benzo, lost in the instrumental, got me sentimental. Just knocked out the blunt, the game green in the car, I'm feeling great, but there's no pressure here, it's just another day. Weed's a fucking performance enhancer, because it's about to enhance my performance, definitely. That's why I got these shades on, boom. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is my first match. I got called up to the mat a little bit early. Kind of caught me by surprise. I'm walking up to the mat. I'm a little bit out of the moment. Like, I'm standing across from this guy. 
a little bit out of it. Um, I'm looking at this guy's movements. It's kind of hard to get a beat on what he's doing. It's a little bit unorthodox. I end up going for a single. Um, my head is across, which is fine. Then my head shifts or switches to the other side. And at this point, I should let go of the single and protect my neck. I don't. Instead, I drive him into a double leg takedown. He wraps the guillotine. I tap early. I really should have uh, framed off of his face. I'm um, super disappointed here. I mean, my first match ended under a minute. The guy gets up, slaps the floor, gets his hand raised, and then he lets me know that he follows me on social media. Moving on. So this next guy is an older gentleman, and we have identified that he is definitely out of shape. No disrespect to him. But, you know, at this point, I'm like, dude, anything could happen. I just lost. I'm 0-1. Um, we come out. I shoot the double immediately. That's what I was talking about when I meant foot jitsu because that looked like a tackle. Um, I get side control. I start working some neon belly. Um, just controlling different positions here, waiting for him to react. And at that point, we started isolating arms. Um, I can tell the guy was tired. Um, so just controlling top position, isolating arms. There we get the tap. Um, I think that's called a Kimura. That could be the Americana. Either way, I feel really good about this win. It was extremely motivating to get a win under my belt going into the next round of Absolute. Um, this kid was really tough. I believe he was a former high school wrestler. And then also his jiu-jitsu coach is a really well-known dude around El Paso. And this was just a really strong dude. I think he was around 245 pounds. He was younger. So here we are. You know, I, I kind of felt him getting tired. One of the things I noticed is I could feel his breathing getting heavy about two minutes into the round. So I shoot for a single, run the pipe. Once I get him on the ground, I, I think I have him in half guard here. We're going to start to try to slide that knee through. Um, into mount there it goes from there he starts to establish his frames and push me off i start to lose position um we're back in a standing position i'm a little bit gassed his coaches start yelling from the side uh to take me down so i shoot for another single i should have stayed on him there um i just wanted to mix it up a little bit because i'm up on points and i know he needs a takedown so i shoot for two more takedowns um wrap around to side control again there I'm um, starting to isolate an arm. I jump in the mount. The match is over at five minutes. Helped him up. That was a really tough opponent. I was actually a little bit gassed afterwards. Forearms were on fire. Um, my chest was on fire. Cardio was on fire. It's a really good test for me. Um, I appreciated that from him. And now we're two and one. Um, we lost the first one via guillotine, uh, but we're back. We're back. I'm an absolute. We're winning that motherfucker. That's exactly what we're doing. You know what I mean? Winning absolute. You know, if I would have went home 0-2, <laughs> if I would have went home 0-2, I wouldn't have been able to raise my voice for a week. Like terrible, I'd have been a straight bitch. So this is our this is our last check-in of the This is my opponent as well. <laughs> But we got the walking corpse. He has his, his belt with some nutrition. And I sat on her backpack. So <laughs> last match of the day. So last match here with my buddy from the sideline. Um, pretty big dude. He's about 6'3", probably about 250. I think he said he was 250, actually. Anyway, the game plan here was to um, tire him out on the feet again, kind of just walk him, around the, walk him around the mat, look for opportunity to shoot. Uh, there were plenty of opportunities to just shoot. So I shoot in here. I don't commit. I actually hit my head on his hip, and I think I hit my head um, on his chin the way up. So I'm still pressuring him on the feet. I think I'm starting to wear him down. I go ahead and I shoot on a single leg there I boost the leg um, I think I end up getting a trip here right into side control and at that point as Joe Rogan would say it was the beginning of the end um, I'm just trying to improve my position here I end up isolating the arm and I hit the Americana tap bounce up gracefully won the absolute division I feel fucking great we go ahead and shake hands good sportsmanship and I'm asking where in the fuck is my belt at because get this on the Naga website they said all adults that won any division would win a belt I asked this character over here hey man can I get my fucking belt he gives me these two medals and you guys watch my body language change right now I'm like what the fuck he's like yeah bro beat it here a white belt they said I don't get a belt because I'm a white belt so they could have went really good they did actually it went it went went really well we got big dubs today we came out with the absolute championship there was a point in the day where I was really scared because I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna tell you guys and like legitimately we went 0-1 the first one got booted out of that bracket then we went 3-0 
won the absolute. As you guys can see, my neck is heavy. <laughs> my neck is heavy. <laughs> so man, um, battling a headache here, but outside of that, I'm feeling good and uh, big dubs. We're gonna go get drunk as a skunk and go to Krispy Kreme. But first I'm gonna get some Advil or something, which I never take for my head. This is the outro. Maybe it's not. Like, uh, share, subscribe. I got a headache. Like, share, subscribe. Click the link in my bio for my online fitness app. I appreciate you guys as always. Let's get this money. Big fucking dubs today. Big dubs. <laughs> always close, because I always come late. But, I, but I've earned it in the middle of the day this time, so I'm, I'm here nice and early. Okay. I got my Hornitos, I got my Krispy Kreme. I'm gonna get drunk as a skunk. Um, I appreciate you guys following along today, man. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button, click the like button, share this with a friend, click the link in the bio, subscribe to my online fitness app, and I also have a combat sports program available on my website. I appreciate you guys. This is how I get paid, and peace.